Hello friends, let's see what is citation, Hutch index and item index in this video. Uh, these are the parameters uh, used to, to check the impact of the research paper which you have published and uh, this will decide the quality and how, what kind of impact you are creating in the scientific and uh, research among the research community. First uh, citation, it is, uh, uh, see when your work is referred by other researchers, in their work that is called citation. Uh, you take some idea from other uh, previous researchers and you use it in your paper. You will give them in the reference, you know, you, you will call it as a citation. You will cite them, you will cite their paper uh, in your paper and you will be adding into the reference section also that is called citation. And uh, the citation is the basic to decide the uh, matrix Hutch index. And the Hutch index, it was first proposed by George E. Hirsch in 2005. Uh, it, is the, it is an author level metric that attempts to measure the both productivity and the impact of the publication of a particular scholar. Because they wanted to check you have published whether it, is, it, whether it has created an impact or not. That can be tested through the, uh, what you call, through the measuring the Hutch index. And how the Hutch index is measured? It is very simple, you have to use a mathematical formula. It is simply a count of the largest number of papers that is H from a journal or author that have at least H number of citation. It may, it may confuse you, let me give in a detailed way. Uh, for, assume that you have uh, some papers, you have so many papers and you organize in a descending order and give the citation, how many citations you have got for each paper and look at there. Uh, the, the an author has 8 papers, uh, first paper has 33 citation, next paper 30, another paper 25, 7, 6, 5 and 4. So, among this pay, uh, 8 publication, these are the different uh, citations. But this tells us the author's Hutch index is 6, how? Because 33, 30, 25, 7, 6, 6 papers at least have been cited more than 6 times. That is why it is 6, uh, uh, the citation is, uh, the Hutch index is 6, because this is less than uh, 6 only. In case, the, instead of here 6, uh, paper number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, instead of the uh, uh, 6, it is, if it is more than uh, 6 times mean, the citation will increase, because it depends upon how many citation you have got and the maximum citation should be the maximum number of paper you have published. Uh, let me give you one more example to get a clarity. Yeah, an H index of 17 means that 17 papers that have been cited at least 17 times. This is a beautiful form, clear explanation. 17 papers that, has, that, have, been, that have been cited at least 17 times each. And if the uh, uh, scientist 18th most cited publication was cited only 10 times, the citation, the Hutch index would remain only 17. Only when the 10th paper, uh, uh, sorry, 18th paper increase, cited more than 18 times, then only the Hutch index would increase as 18. Otherwise, it will remain only 17. Got it? And I will show you my, my uh, Google Scholar example, then you will get a better understanding also. An I-10 index is very simple. It is very straightforward, used to by, introduced by Google Scholar in 2011. If you particular paper cited more than 10 times, you will get one I-10 index. See, I-10 index, uh, for in, uh, instance, you have four paper, one paper 23 times, another paper 9 times, another paper 8 times, another paper 6 times cited. Because only one paper you have more than 10 times, then your I-10 index score will be uh, only 1. Got it? Uh, it is very simple. I will show you my example, my Google Scholar. You will get a better understanding. Not this one. Just a minute. Uh, Yeah, look at that. Uh, you can first see uh, in this is in my Google Scholar profile. 
my citations are 101 since 2017 it's 100 now it's 101 h index given as 5 then you may wonder how to calculate h index look at that i have so many publications look at that almost uh, 56 i have 56 publications certain papers uh, certain paper uh, do not have does not have the uh, citation so now look at my maximum citations here 37 14 10 5 5 4 so my maximum citation because 1 2 3 4 5 so at least 5 of my papers have been cited more than 5 times that's why my h index is 5 5 of my papers paper 1 2 3 4 5 5 of my papers have what you call have been cited more than 5 times 5 and more than 5 times that's why it is five, h index is about 5 but other papers are there it is only 4 3 so obviously when these papers crosses or reaches 5 these papers reaches 5 this for example this 4 4 becomes 5 then my h index would increase from 5 to it will become 6 and in case my 3 4 5 4 papers it becomes more than 5 then it my index probably may increase to 6 7 in that way that time uh, proportionately it has to increase and i10 index very simple look at there my three of my papers one two three has been uh, have been cited more than 10 times one two three that's why i10 index is three this is generally calculated and one more thing this h index uh, i10 index uh, all these things will vary into the scopus google scholar because they scopus will uh, accept only the citation in given in the scopus Web of Science will accept the citation only given in the Web of Science. The Google Scholar citation will not be taken into consideration for calculating your Scopus H index and I10 index. Similarly, for Web of Science H uh, index and I10 index. So, each, each uh, what you call platform will take their own uh, publication metrics only to measure the H uh, index and I10 index. But the measurement type is same. But Google Scholar uh, cited paper will not be considered. You, know, it, you cannot say that. Uh, it can be accepted for uh, Scopus and uh, Scopus uh, matrix also. It will it will vice versa. Got it? I ho I hope this video will be useful. If it if you find it useful, please do not forget to subscribe to some of your friends. Let them get benefited, and let us grow together. Thank you. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.